Somebody asked the question, Allah SWT has knowledge of everything. He knows what each and every one of us will do till the day we die. Does that eliminate our power of free will? If not, how can one balance his belief in free will with belief in destiny? Allah knows everything. Do you know? Do you know? Allah knows, right? Do you know? So work hard because I don't know either. So you should be working because you and I don't know. Actually, Allah didn't tell us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the fact that he knows how things will end and how things will happen and what was and what wasn't and what will never be if it were to happen, how it were to happen, all that is in the knowledge of Allah. It does not negate the fact that we are responsible for the choices that he has given us. In fact, the question that's going to be asked on the day of Qiyamah rotates around how you used what Allah gave you in terms of choice. Although Allah is the one who allows that. Allah allows it. So it's still in his power. But that doesn't negate the fact that he's given you the ability. For example, I'm sitting here. What happened? I made an effort to get up and to come here. I made an effort to do things, but Allah allowed it. If he wanted to block it, he could have blocked it. The fact that he allowed it doesn't make him guilty of anything but in fact he is the all-powerful the all-knowing it's Allah if I didn't work I would have been a lazy person perhaps I wouldn't have made it here I wouldn't have succeeded and I keep blaming Allah to say but Allah would have known Allah would have known for example a person who is looking for a job but they they think their iman is so powerful that they sit at home and say oh Allah you're the owner of sustenance if you've written it for me send it to me here how can you say that? Allah wrote that you were going to be stupid and you were going to die poor because you don't know Allah. That's why. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us through Rasulullah sallallahu Work hard towards achieving what is beneficial for you according to you and seek the help of Allah and don't give up. Don't become hopeless that's the hadith so i need to work hard in order to achieve things even though allah knows what i'm going to get in another narration the prophet says law annakum tatawakkaluna ala allahi haqqa tawakkulihi la razaqakum kama yarzuqu at-tayr taghdu khimasan wa taruhu bitanan if you have to lay your trust in allah in the proper way he would sustain you and provide for you the same way he provides for a bird so some people say, oh, that means I can sit and relax and never mind, just like a bird is sustained, I'll be a bird. You know, as Sheikh Abdul Fattah said, rather than being a rat, we'll be birds, mashallah. So, but they haven't finished the hadith. The hadith says at the end, the bird leaves the nest hungry early in the morning and comes back at the end of the day with a full belly, which means work hard all day, even for your plate of food. But Allah knew that you were going to work hard. What you're going to get after that, it's all in the hands of Allah. If you didn't play your role, you are guilty. Allah says, I'll, I'll do my role. I'll do what I am going to do. You do what I've asked you to do. So you do what Allah's asked you to do. You don't know how you're going to end. That's what makes it more interesting. Imagine if we, ha if we, already, if we knew where we we're going to go. That would have been now a real, real big issue. But Allah's blessings, He kept it such that each one of us must keep hoping and that's what Allah wants. And by, by the will of Allah, His mercy will overtake His anger. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too, so please consider sharing. And we will bring more videos in the future, inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallahu khairan.